is where I'm going. Bag gets low, that's when I start panicking. Hit my weed dude up, then he start scrambling. Don't let randoms get my dank, that's gambling. Over his action to hit my weed, just rambling. Thanks for roaming up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know we about to do Bird Club. Look at these. Cannabis conspiracy, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory involves the statue of Zeus. Welcome to the ancient world of Greek conspiracy, where today we're peeling back the layers on the highly guarded secret Zeus's mysterious fire herb. That's right, Zeus wasn't just the god of lightning bolts, he held a divine joint venture that ancient Greeks believed connected them directly to the gods themselves. Let's blaze a trail through history to explore how Zeus, his herb, and a secret circle of priests conspire to keep this knowledge locked up for centuries. Here's a riddle for you. Strong as a stone, I am not alive, yet my gaze can petrify. With snakes for hair, I strike fear deep, turn around our eternal sleep. Imagine ancient Greece, togas, temples, and philosophers endlessly pondering life's mysteries but while socrates was asking know thyself zeus was merely like grow thyself this fire herb wasn't just for show it was a potent connection between gods and mortals burned at sacred rites and believed to heighten divine encounters in fact zeus holding this leafy sprig was a major joint effort to enhance spiritual experiences not just a fancy decoration legend has it that the mere sight of zeus holding this fire herb could cause greeks to chant burn incense and toss sacrifices into the flames they knew it wasn't just any herb it was a rare strain that opened portals to the divine or at least made the faithful feel like it here's another riddle for you fly too high i fall too low my father warned me to go slow Melted wings brought me to the sea. A lesson learned remembered me. Who am I? You see, the priests guarding Zeus's stash were the original herbal elite, a society so exclusive they might have invented secret handshakes and definitely had some insider secrets. They knew that if the common folk got hold of this herb, the temples would turn into smoke filled party zones. So they formed a divine pact to keep things under wraps claiming only the pure and devout could experience the sacred smoke. In reality, the priestly circle was just a high-minded as the gods they worshipped, lounging around passing their the, the, the words, people, leafy delight and contemplating the mysteries of the cosmos. For the average citizen, peering into the temple, this smoke and mirrors routine was downright mystical. Little did they know. It was just a cloud of secrecy, riddle time. I ruled the world before the gods, a father to them, but harsh with odds. My children rose and took my throne. Now I sit below in shadows, alone. Who am I? Now picture Zeus holding lightning bolts in one hand and this herbal wonder in the other. Ever wonder why he was so chill after storming the heavens and throwing down a Hera? Zeus had a plantastic remedy to unwind. Some suspect that this divine weed kept him centered. Hence the term high and mighty for a reason, right? And while Zeus may have kept this herb close, he wasn't the only one sparking divine greenery. Imagine Dionysus, god of wine in reverie, passing the joint around as if they sat at the divine lawn of Olympus. With Zeus and Dionysus in the mix, the Pantheon could have hosted the first ever Burning Man, complete with lyric solos and ancient dance-offs. You might be wondering if there's any real historical evidence here. Archaeologists have found traces of cannabis in ancient temples and royal courts from the Egyptians to the Chinese. Ancient philosophers like Plato and Aristotle might have been early stoned thinkers. And as a more historical evidence smolders to the surface it's no stretch to think zeus's fire herb was highly sought after for the greeks this herb wasn't just sacred it was a gateway to the higher truths imagine philosophers lounging around at the agora puffing away and pondering life's big questions with the little divine influence maybe the true key to wisdom was all in the burning of the herb 
in hindsight, all that deep thinking starts making a lot more sense. Socrates might have thought of life's mysteries as the blaze of extens- ex- ex- words, extens- <laughs> existence. Words, people. I'm going to stop talking to you. I'm going to stop. Here's another riddle. By day I hunt, my bow held tight. The goddess of the moon by night unto him with golden hair, protecting creatures everywhere. Who am I? Okay, before you start questioning everything you heard me say, there's one more twist. The priestly elite, the ancient Herbalumilali, crafted elaborate stories to conceal the herb's true nature. They spread tales about lighting, lighting, light, light, thunder, and godly wrath to keep people from asking questions. But the truth was, in the back rooms of the temple, the priests were rolling divine doobie and swapping wisdom with the gods. Today, maybe it's no surprise that modern society is rediscovering the herb with medicinal and legal recognition spreading like wildfire. Cannabis is going from temple secret to town square and as the smoke clears, it turns out divine herb still has high potential to connect us all. So next time you see a statue of Zeus with his leafy sprig, remember we might just owe our inspiration, our courage, and our first philosophers to a humble bit of herb. The answers to the riddle, Medusa, Icarus, Cronus, Artemis. See y'all in the next one, bruh.